the best three exercises to improve your stability. Hi, my name is Doug. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years and I specialize in balance problems and helping people learn to walk again. In this video, I'm going to show you three standing exercises that I use every day in my clinic to help people regain their stability. Heel to toe walking. To do this activity, you just need something sturdy to hold on to. You can use a countertop, the back of a chair, you can even use your kitchen sink. You want to walk heel to toe two to three steps in one direction, then grab onto that object, turn around, and walk two to three steps in the other direction. When you're walking heel to toe, you're actually putting one foot in front of the other with your heel touching your toe. Your goal for this exercise is to do this three times in each direction without holding on. In the beginning, you might have to hold on the entire time or at least put one finger on the countertop the whole time. That's fine. People don't automatically have, people don't automatic, people aren't automatically able to do this exercise. Most of my clients have to practice this for weeks, if not months, every single day before they get good enough to do it without holding on. Single leg standing. To do single leg standing, you need something sturdy in front of you. You can use a countertop or the back of a chair, anything that's sturdy. You want to lift one leg up and shift all your weight over to the one leg you're going to stand on and then try to let go. Your goal with this exercise is to let go for 20 seconds before you have to grab the counter and then shift to the other leg and do the same thing for 20 seconds. We want you to be able to do this three times on each leg for 20 seconds. But most of the clients that I see and most of the people I work with, this can take months to get to this goal. In the beginning, it's fine if you have to hold the countertop with one finger or even one hand just to get used to this exercise. The key to this exercise, the thing that most people struggle with, is they're not shifting their weight enough. When you stand on one leg, you have to shift all of your weight over onto that side to allow you to stand on one leg without holding on. So if you find that you're having to grab the countertop, you're probably not shifting all your weight over. That's the key to this exercise. I find that people take doing this every single day, sometimes twice a day, for four to six weeks before they really see an improvement and can balance on one leg. Backward walking. To do this exercise safely, you need a countertop or the back of a chair or something to hold on to just in case you lose your balance. You simply want to stand up straight and step backwards two to three steps. You don't want to step so many steps that you're away from that you're away from something to hold on to, but you want to do two to three steps in one direction, then carefully turn around and go two to three steps in the other direction. Your goal is to do two to three steps in both directions, repeating that three times without holding on. But it's probably going to take weeks of practicing this, if not months, before you're going to be able to do it without holding anything. Balance problems usually result from a lack of practicing balance challenging activities. Most people assume when they've lost their balance that it's just either a function of getting older or it's a strength problem. Countless studies have shown that the real problem is a lack of practicing challenging activities. The three activities I've shown you in this video are meant to be done one after another. In other words, you need to master the first exercise by practicing it for a few weeks before you get to the next one. I'm showing this video to everyone, so some people might actually be so good that the first exercise is easy for them and maybe the second, and they might want to start with the third. But the majority of people that I work with, these exercises are usually done in order. I have them start with exercise one, I practice that for a few sessions with them over a couple of weeks, and then when they're good with that, then I move to exercise two. 
I know that these three exercises have helped thousands of people regain their balance and they can help you as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to work with a therapist or trainer that's trained in the techniques that you just saw, they can go to proprioceptiverehab.com to get training from me in exactly how to do this. I offer a course in proprioceptive rehabilitation for physical therapists and personal trainers.